Aloha everyone, I'm Susan Nutowitz with letsfeelexcellent.com. Hope you're having an excellent day. And I'm excited to show you the next recipe. It's someone that's near and dear to my heart um, because I am Italian. And so whenever I run into someone that says, I gotta eat pasta because I'm Italian, I understand that, how they feel. So it took me a long time to give up pasta and fried eggplant and fried cardoons and the rich yummy tastes of um, the Italian foods and uh, I understand it with any ethnic groups you know I know Indians eat only Indian food and there's that is even more so with them because they're it's tied into religion and sanitation and history and there's just so much there in um, in why you have to eat that way and so a lot of those foods are so heavy in fat and they're all about the fat so I want to show you a, an alternative that actually can benefit your body and the thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you all of your options so we're going to make um, an eggplant parmesan that's kind of high in fat but it could be even richer and so I want to give you that option too. I'm not going to show it to you but I'm going to give you you know how you would do that option as well but I'm going to give you a virtually fat free eggplant parmesan too that tastes you know less, than, less like eggplant parmesan but still going to taste pretty good so um, you'll, you'll want to have all your options and then you can make your own choices of what you, you're going to put in your body which is the person that is going to choose for you so we have to be honest about that it's not well I have to eat this way because my family eats this way or they'll tease me at work or, or whatever the excuse is around people you're going to have to make your own choice and once you make that decision and that decision is solid in you people might still ask you about what you eat but they're going to be asking you more in like you know Mary's looking pretty good and I'm really wondering what does she eat you know so that it's going to be more along the lines that are complementary you're just going to be radiating stuff but once you make your decision people are going to see that congruency in you and they're not going to take it away but getting on with eggplant parmesan and um, the health benefits of this recipe here we go a little sip of lemon tea there okay so we're going to start with an eggplant this is the long version but you can also use the um, the round one that's fine just take off the top yeah there we go and actually I'm, I'm going to use a mandolin you can cut it but I'm going to cut it in half because it's a long one all right, now what I want to tell you about using a mandolin and slicing the eggplant on the mandolin is that you can't use the safety with it. I couldn't find a way to use the safety with it. So be careful of your fingers, okay? Don't be doing this while you're watching TV or you're talking on the phone or you're um, whatever. Be aware of what you're doing, okay? And don't cut your fingers off. So it's about this thickness. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to put them in some salt water. Take my Italian spices out of the way. Now I was explaining to you, if you saw the um, blog on eggplant bacon BLTs, then you already know why I'm putting it in the salt water. The salt water, I learned working in an Italian restaurant, sweetens it. Now how does it sweeten it? You know how egg, raw eggplant has a little bit of spicy taste to it? That's its alkaloid. And its alkaloid poison, its pesticide, its natural pesticide, is solaine. And solaine is the what makes the nightshades famous 
as a danger food. Well, solaine in eggplant is so low that I don't think you even have to worry about it. But because we're making raw eggplant, even though we're going to marinate it, I don't, I don't want any of that spicy taste in there. So, and I don't really want to eat any solaine at all. You do have to be concerned about solaine in potatoes. There's a lot of it in potatoes and green potatoes. I know I've, I see grocery stores selling green potatoes and sometimes they have them, they know they're green. They have them in bags. Our, our little market is famous out here for it. They have it in bags and the potatoes are all green. Anyone who ate would eat that bag of potatoes would die. It's that much of a poison. So don't buy green potatoes. Now I can um, cut these into various shapes. I'm going to want to cut them small enough so my um, dehydrator, I'm going to put them in the dehydrator or my marinade is going to work for me. I know some of you are wondering if I'm going to use breadcrumbs of some kind or some kind of gluten. Nope, I'm not. I will show you how easy this is. It's way easier than regular eggplant parmesan. Okay, so there they are soaking. And I would soak them for about half an hour. But we're just going to soak them like that for now. And that's going to be good enough. If I was really concerned about the salt, I'm using sea salt, but if I was really concerned about the salt, there's about a teaspoon in here. So for one eggplant, I'm using about a teaspoon of salt in this water. Um, I'm not concerned about that, but if I was, then I just rinse it off. That's fine. Some of you are going to want to put salt in this recipe because you're going to like it. I'm not going to. I don't need any salt in my diet, even if it is sea salt. This is an OXO um, spinner. It's, it's great. I love it. You can see it keeps it from turning brown as well. All right, so now I'm gonna um, make my marinade. Oops, I forgot a little marinade bowl here. Excuse me. Okay, so now I'm gonna make my marinade here. And I'm just gonna use some basil and some uh, organic no salt seasoning, um, which it could be Italian spices, just Italian spices for you. Um, so you could put oregano, garlic, uh, you could put a little cayenne if you wanted to. Okay. And now I'm gonna make the fatty version for you to taste more authentic. And so I'm going to use olive oil. So here's, here's how much spice I have in there. You can see that. And some of you are going to, uh, this has no salt in it. So some of you are going to want to put a little salt in it. That's fine. And I guess for one, eggplant, maybe half a cup of olive oil. Now, one thing about your eggplant, it's pretty amazing. It will soak up as much oil as you want to put in there. So be careful about that. So 
So that is why we are going to brush, use a brush and brush it on. If you want less oil, all you have to do for this recipe is put in less oil and then put in your lemon juice, okay? For your lemon, your lemon or lime. Now that's not gonna taste authentic with the lemon juice, but it does taste good. So here we go with the, we're just gonna brush on the little pieces here. You could use all lemon juice if you wanted to and you wouldn't need as, as much you wouldn't even need it uh, half a cup of lemon juice I wouldn't think um, and you can make it totally without a dehydrator too so flexible but the, the lemon is going to taste lemony so it's not going to taste eggplant parmesan -y, right so I only do one side of these because it will just Absorb right in. So some people say, I'm not going to eat eggplant because it's a nightshade and it has a bad rap. And uh, we talked about um, the nightshade portion of it, but um, actually eggplant is a pretty healthy food. It helps lower uh, LDL cholesterol. It's been known for a long time to do that. It has manganese in it, which is a precious mineral. Um, it's no longer found in our soils, but eggplant can still um, get it and retain it. So, it's a low fat food. And all of this, unless you cook it. It doesn't have any fat until we brush the oil on. So you can, like I said before, you can, you can totally control that. It's, uh, eggplant uh, has its purple coloring and that is um, It's full of antioxidants, but also the fruit itself is fully anti full of antioxidants. It has um, natural soluble fiber. Not all fiber is, sol is um, usable. Some of it is insoluble. Non-digestible. And so it's an irritant rather than anything that's good for you. So, you know, people say eat brown rice because it's got a high in fiber and that's all jaggy um, not good for you fiber very irritating to the system it takes a long time um, depends on how long you've eaten grains for but it takes uh, I would say the average person, the average adult, over a year to heal from eating grains. Yeah, that was just about right. I like spice. I'm, I'm a spice girl, so I'm going to put all of this on here. Yeah, 
And you can choose spices that are beneficial to you too. Basil is highly beneficial uh, mentally and physically. It's a deep relaxer. It's a great stimulator. It uh, grows hair back on your head. <laughs> and um, it's really good. So I noticed some, some recipes tossed the, um, you can do toss the spices, but the oil is really, it's just going to, these eggplants are little sponges, and so it's just going to go into where you put the oil on. It's very hard to mix it up. It really absorbs it that fast. So here we have our marinated eggplant, and we're going to put that aside for probably at least a couple hours. Let it marinate there. Okay, um, and I have some that have been marinating for a couple hours. I already put them on the dehydrator sheet. Although, um, you know, if you're making this with lemon, especially, you could use it just like this. There's no problem using it just like this. But um, if you want it to, the flavors to meld and it gets a little soft, then you dehydrate it. And I have some of those prepared as well. Dehydrated on 115 for a couple hours. Um, and then we need, uh, personally, I would probably make it more with a lemon and then I would just layer it, just use the, the eggplant and the tomato layer. But you folks are wanting the real deal and so we will do cheese. And let me show you how to make that. So I have some hemp seeds. They've been soaked and uh, drained and then they're giving off more liquid and that's okay. They've been rinsed. And they've been soaked for, they, they have to soak for uh, about four hours, but you can soak them overnight. Hemp seeds, uh, the valuable thing about hemp seeds is they're high in omega-3s, but they're low in omega-6s. There's a lot of foods that are high in omega-6s, and we need the omega-3s. Some omega-6s, but, you know, everything in balance. More valuable, the omega-3s. So that's one thing about hemp seeds. There's many things about hemp seeds that are great. Okay, and then I'm going to put a pepper in here, red pepper. I'm doing this more just for flavor. Um, it's not a must. Now let me cut that up a bit. Mmm, that smells great. Okay, and I'm going to put half a, um, this is a lime actually. Oh, I keep forgetting you're over here. All right. So this is a lime. I'm going to put, that's a pretty juicy lime. I'm just going to put that much in. Okay. And um, then I'm going to put a chili pepper. That's my chilies. Okay. And then I'm going to put, and that's optional, you don't have to put chili in it. Um, and then if I was going to really make it like cheese, um, I'm just not, I'm not eating these things. I've been doing a lot of uh, cleansing and I'm going even deeper in cleansing, so I'm not going to want to put um, sea salt in it. But you can put um, like half a teaspoon of sea salt. This is what's going to make it taste like cheese and about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. I'm just not eating those things right now. So I'm not gonna put them in, and, um, but if you want it to taste like cheese, that's what you would do. Some people go crazy on the nutritional yeast. Um, they put like three tablespoons of nutritional yeast in. To me, that's just a waste. I don't think it tastes any more like cheese. This is purified water. I'm going to try that much right now. And um, you just, 
peeing out the B vitamins. There's no use to that. So So, I'm just going to put it on the Vitamix here. Let's see if you can see that. You can't. You totally can't. Okay. I'm bring the Vitamix over. And my little tomatoes. How's that? Yep. Okay. All set. too much water I can see it already but let it go and the Vitamix will make it all creamy I'm gonna get a little off the sides here so we don't have seeds in it if you have diverticuli that you're healing in your gut um, you could make this recipe because you're gonna make the seeds creamy so they're not gonna be able to be stuck and you're going to um, make the uh, you can take the tom the seeds out of the tomatoes. Most recipes you can take the seeds out of the tomatoes, so don't worry about that. You can totally do that and just use the flesh part of the tomato, and you can have your Italian food too. I know some people that are doing that they. They just say, oh, I just broke down. I had a piece of pizza. Well, you don't need to do that. I did put too much water in there. How about the lemon? Is it too, is it not lemony enough? Hmm, it's good. It's actually the first time I'm not making it with the salt or the um, yeast. So usually I do make it cheesy. It's good to know I didn't have to put any water in it at all. And I love the red pepper taste. Okay, so you can get it smoother than this when you put your yeast in there and less water. Okay, oh wait, bring that back here. With tomatoes, okay. So we're gonna cut the tomatoes. The other thing about the hemp seeds is I'm, you know, I'm showing you how to make the sauce, so I didn't want to do it beforehand, but that um, cheese will thicken up. So probably the next step that I would do is wait a few hours to tomorrow and put it in the refrigerator and that, that cheese will also thicken up. All right. Now here we go, I'm going to take my, I'm just going to make it like a lasagna.
kind of nice and drizzly. Like a red pepper aioli. And make it chefy. Okay. And then tomatoes. Oh, okay, so I was going to tell you, I told you how to make a virtually fat-free version of this. Now I'm going to tell you how to make it, um, <laughs> there's the seeds itself, um, fattier. Well, you could make a more decadent tomato sauce. You could. You could do um, like a, a, a red pepper, sun-dried tomato puree. And I'm sure there's some raw, amazing recipes like that online. But I don't, I don't think you need any more fat. I think just the tomato taste itself in here is just going to be perfect. Hmm. That's pretty good. So much fun to make. the seeds. Okay. There it is, raw amazing. My eggplant parmesan, I love it. I, I, I would have it with a huge dark green salad with daikon radish in it or something. Or I could make a, um, a dark green crumble and put it on top too. Okay, so please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know how you like it and join me at letsfeelexcellent.com. I'm Susan Nutowitz, wishing you an excellent day. Aloha.